Let's take a look at setting up and using bone dynamics. Uh, I've got a basic little object here and it stores some skeleton. So I'm going to go ahead and convert those skeletons to bones. So I'm going to come over to the setup tab, convert skeletons, 97 bones are created. And uh, with bone x-ray on, we can see in there. And actually, uh, because of the color of the bones, I'm just going to go and change the surface color. Um, I'll go with the a light color here okay, so that we can actually see the the bones much easier okay so now what I want to do is I want to have I'm gonna throw a collision object throw some dynamic objects in here and uh, and have the bones interact with those objects so what I'll do is go ahead and set up an items add dynamic object collision we'll add a collision object and I'm gonna size it up and uh, we'll keep the default settings on that. I'm going to move it down just so it's below this little octopus. Okay, something like this. And now what I want is I want the tentacles, I want this octopus to interact with this collision object. Now I could apply um, cloth effects and uh, have it affect the geometry, but I can also have the bones have dynamic properties as well. And to do that, I need to add IK Booster to this, um, to this object. I'm gonna go over to the Modify tab, click on the IK Boost tool, and then I'm just gonna right click and choose Apply IK Booster. And what I've done is I've added IK to the entire, um, let me go out of that mode, and I've added IK to this object um, but what I want to take advantage of is the dynamic properties of IK Booster. So what I'll do is come down here to the IKB menu. Okay. Now what I can also do is open up the dope track and the IKB menu will be here. So either way, it's the same menu. I'm going to choose Bone Dynamics to activate Bone Dynamics. And uh, let's go ahead and just see uh, what the default looks like. So I'm going to go to IK B calculate to calculate. Okay, so they drop down and then they interact with the collision object. Now that's not the mesh interacting, that's the that's the bones interacting. Okay, it's a pretty fast calculation because um, it's kind of like calculating a bunch of two-point poly. So it doesn't matter how how detailed your your mesh is. It's just going to be looking at the the bones. Well, if it's looking at the bones, the bones are kind of small. We might need to make some adjustments. So what I'm going to do is just right click and go to options, and then I'm going to go to um, uh, dynamic edit. Okay. So now I'm in the dynamic properties of the bones, and if I right click I can choose the weight of the bones now right now the setting is on all items I can switch to parent child parent plus child current item so if I just wanted to affect the current item I could change the weight by left clicking and dragging you can see the value here uh, but you can also see a, a, a display a visual display with this giant um, sphere this giant circle okay uh, but if I wanted to affect all the items I'm just gonna come over here to all items and now I'm affecting all the items. So I'm going to increase the weight. Okay, and then I'm going to calculate. Okay. I can also change, I'm going to just bring that down some. I can also right click and change the size. And I can give, you can kind of see the fall off area. You can kind of get how how large do you want to make the area that's going to um, collide. Now, if I want, I can size up all of this say like to here and then decide towards the tips I want to have them get smaller instead of going to say current item and just changing one of them what I'm gonna do is go to child and come to about right here and I can affect all the I can affect the one I'm selecting and the children after it and then that way I can move a little faster in sizing these up, uh, sorry, sizing them down. So I'm just sizing down the shape there. Okay, and now I'll go ahead and calculate. Okay, 
And so the tips can get closer, the tips of the tentacles can get closer because I've sized them down. I can also turn individual bones on and off, uh, or entire chains on and off. I can change the viscosity, the spring, resistance, weight, size, and, uh, and then I can also end edit to get back to my standard menu uh, by right clicking. Okay, so now that I have that, I'll do calculate. Now, it's not limited to just um, collision. We can throw wind in there. Uh, it's, a, it's a dynamic object. It interacts with um, the other dynamic objects that you can, dynamic items that you can use in the scene. Now, one thing to note is that when it does the calculation, it's baking the frame. So you get, you get a keyframe on every frame. And that's something that you're going to want to know um, because uh, it's not just setting individual keyframes. It's the equivalent of using Dynamics, where Dynamics, when you save out an MDD file or a BDD file, you're saving out uh, a baked uh, motion, a baked displacement, because it's going to have a keyframe on every frame for every point. Well, this is a keyframe for every frame for every bone. Okay. So let's just do one last thing, uh, just so we can see it. I'm going to go over to Items, Add Dynamic Object, Wind. Okay, and I'm going to throw wind in the scene. I'm going to turn Fall Off uh, mode to Off. And uh, then I'm just going to have it pull to, I'm just going to have it pull to the side. Um, actually, I'm going to go, I'm going to increase it pretty large. We can fine tune it so that it, it doesn't collapse in on itself. Uh, but I am going to just force the wind, uh, just to 200, just to, to, so that we can see it in action. Okay, and I'm going to, now, if I wanted to keep that, all those keyframes that I had before, I'm really going to want to, uh, you know, save off my, my scene because I'm about to overwrite them when I do a calculation. And it looks like we're going to need a little more uh, strength here. So I'm just going to crank this up. Uh, and I'm going to give it a little bit in the Y. And for power, I'm going to go 600. And calculate. And you can start to see it's pulling. Um, so we can have collision and wind. So if you wanted to, you could have um, you could have a uh, ponytail on a character and it could collide up against the the character and then it could be blowing in the wind and uh, just the same things that you would do with um, cloth dynamics um, just think of it that way uh, you'll do with bones and the bones will be what's um, being uh, calculated not the geometry okay so you could always um, uh, set this up with a, a low res character or a low res object or just lower the sub patch level just so you can see what's going on it's not going to affect the the calculation time at all uh, you can always swap out the characters because it's all saved to the bone it's it, and once you've once you've got it um, baked all that information is there and you don't even need uh, to uh, to keep IK Booster because you've baked all the information for the bones. So that's just a quick look at using uh, Bone Dynamics, uh, which is available through the IK Boost tool. And uh, that's found under Modify Tools IK Boost. And you'll want to activate Dynamics in the uh, IKB menu uh, under Bone Dynamics. And remember that you can right click, go to Options, Dynamic Edit, and then it gives you access to the dynamic properties of the bones.